Hey guys, so this is my review for episode 19 of Supernatural Season 11. At least to say I've been a little bit pissed that they didn't do any episodes for the last two weeks considering that cliffhanger that episode 18 was. And well, when you know it, this was a filler episode. God damn it! This is the last episode I gotta watch live for a long time. And they freaking do this on me. Now, admittedly, this filler episode was actually pretty decent. One reason why is because it introduced a different group of hunters. A male couple, which that was one, progressive. And two, they weren't stupid. Have you ever noticed how in other episodes of Supernatural, the hunters are like, yeah, well, you know, we gotta get out of my way. You know, let me do it because I already got it. How many times have we seen the Winchester boys get affiliated with other hunters and Either they're crazy, they're stupid, they get killed, or they get killed by the Winchesters, like that episode where Sam got possessed. Either way, hundreds have been normal, more or less really dumb, aside from Bobby, really, in the entire mythos of Supernatural. To see a group that worked together, that looked at one point that one of them was going to die, but he didn't, I was like, great, this is awesome. Admittedly, the creatures were cool, the problem was... I didn't really get into them, it was too many X-Files vibe when I was watching it. It was a cool idea, it had a lot of reminiscent ideas to different creatures that have appeared over the uh, over the show. Especially there was that one, I think it was in the first season, there was that creature that would suck the souls out of children, and it would only come every 10, 15 years. So the idea of a time mythos was actually really interesting. What actually was probably one of the best parts of the episode is when Sam and this other guy was one of the other uh, hunters go up to meet the sheriff who was the sheriff of the town when the last time these series of disappearances and weird green-eyed chittery people happened and there was actually this very deep and emotional connection despite the fact that this guy had what six minutes seven minutes of screen time he actually had a really good side character who we'll never see again but very well done give this actor guy credit whoever he was he was good in the end, the episode itself is very standard. It's not gonna, doesn't build on the story at all, which sucks considering how great the last episode was. However, as a filler episode, it still was pretty cool because of these other characters. I like these guys. I wish they would come back because I thought they were really cool. Apparently we won't though, but I'm happy to see other hunters that aren't stupid. At least that's been a running trade, unfortunately. Anyway, for this episode, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 7. Now, I say the last episode live is because I'm moving, guys. I'm going to have to watch these episodes on CW after they've been updated to 11, so admittedly, my reviews will not be on time. If you guys like this shirt, I hope you do because uh, it's pretty awesome. However, this is it because it was part of Misha Collins' fundraiser, and I'm really happy to have this shirt. Uh, for those of you who did get it, good for you too. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. This is the last live Supernatural, live-ish Supernatural episode review you'll see at least until May of next year. At least when I come back, season 12 will be coming to an end. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you next time.